What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have the brand new 2223 Black Basketball online exclusive, so less made, one that I like a lot. Now we just got back from the National, had tons of big videos, you haven't seen those, definitely check it out. With that is our National giveaway. To enter, like, subscribe, follow me on the free whatnot app, join the live stream when it's time, all free. And then uh, we'll go live and give away tons of exclusive goodies from the show to you guys. That's it, just free stuff. So I'll see you guys in the stream. And then we also have tonight the black basketball case breaks. So I tease these on Instagram and we have a bunch of cases of black basketball. We'll go live and uh, pretty much just group breaks. So yeah, if you're interested, definitely check it out. Links down below to get $10 off your first purchase. So if you want to join the breaks, get a little discount. There you go. And that'll be tonight at the time of recording and maybe the day after too. We have a lot. So we'll do that uh, very, very soon. Now here's the info for the set. It's pretty simple on exclusive. So less made and here's everything on the back. So look for, well, first of all is the price. I'd say kind of mid high $200 range, like a little under 300 right now. And then you get five cards in every single pack, one pack per box, 12 box cases. So not many cards in a box, but here's what you do get one autograph, two base parallels, and everything should be numbered. I believe 95 cards set and then look for platinum one of ones. So new is the amethyst to 15 and quartz to eight parallels. You can see those on the back and then inserts white knight is a short print, kind of like a case set in a way. And I like them they look pretty cool. Autographs, RPAs, there's a couple sets for those. There's smoke show signatures, which include vets. And then there's, um, yeah, that's pretty much it actually. So just parallels for those. As far as the signers go, I'd say it's actually pretty nice. I saw a lot of good names and I didn't see a lot of the names that you're not really looking for for the rookies. So that is good and uh, that's it. So let's get into our two boxes and uh, let's see what we got. So here's a little stack of fillers. Haven't brought these guys on in a while, but we'll just put our stack behind there and Show the cards one at a time. And let's see if we can pull something nice from Black Basketball. Here we go. We've had some pretty good luck. I love 2021 because Lamella was live for the first time in a long time in that product. Because he's a redemption all year that year. And then this year, I don't know who's live, who's not live, but the set is mostly the same except for some good and bad vets added, which I like the good vets, but I'd rather just keep it rookies because when you add the good vets you add the bad vets so let's see what we got here here is pack number one and we've opened a bunch of cases of this product before from last year and it was very good to us and two years ago so let's hope it is the same this year if not better all right first card up let's see what we got once again you guys like these videos you want to see more reviews like it then drop a like, subscribe, we'll have a lot more, and that looks very nice. I guess the base isn't numbered this year. Probably wanted to make more, and they couldn't do that without taking the numbering off the base. So the base base are not numbered, which is unfortunate. Hmm. They always want to make more. Always being uh, upped in production quantities. So there's the uh, base design. Overall, I do like it a lot. So there we go. And once again, we have our national giveaway and group breaks for this product tonight. And that link down below will get you $10 off any purchase. So here's card number two. Hmm, yeah. Always taking uh, steps back. They need to definitely make less, not more. We want less. But still online exclusive, so there is much less of this compared to any other product, which is crazy because there's a lot of this. Well, not a crazy amount, but more than last year, you can tell. All right, pull from the back. Our numbered cards. So not all numbered. But the perils like this should be Kyrie. I like 17 of 35. So there we go. Now this dropped while I was at the National. So I didn't post it till now because we just posted our National videos. We had the silver packs, the big black box opening. We did, what else? Um, the vlog, the spending challenge, our annual ones that is. And so with all due respect to this product, we had to uh, put it on hold. So we're doing it now. Chris Paul... I hope this autograph's nice because this kind of, uh, you know, is not it. It's not it. Been a failure so far, unfortunately. All right. The auto looked thicker. They're all thick in this product, but maybe it's a patch version, I hope. Here's our autograph, and uh, yeah, so far, not too hot. It looks like a patch version. Let's see. Thickness-wise, I think it goes like this. I think I have it upside down. Sorry. All right. Our autograph is... I'll take that. Go Grizz to five. Covering the numbering for a second there. 105. Collector Jake. That is very cool. One of the inscription kings. All right. 
I'll take that. I will take it. So risky because you don't get the base rookies. And now those two aren't numbered, which really stinks. And, um, and yeah, but I feel like we get a lot of good content from these. So there's the first box. And you guys vote down below in the comments which box is better. So that was one. RP to five. I like. All stick autographs, unfortunately. Yeah, but still nice. I feel like content for case-wise, I've always liked what we've seen from this one. And if there was some sort of better four, that'd help. But, for example, not seeing anything good in those first four cards, that was kind of a giveaway that something was coming. So, that's what I like about the set is usually you'll get something... Not always something big, but something. We can say, all right, I got a cool card. There's our hit. Let's see what we got from Black Basketball. All right, there we go. And here we are. Card number one. Rookie, Tari Easton. I like. Yeah, I don't know why they took the numbering away. I would have at least kept it numbered. Even if you had to up the print run or the numbering, I would have still done that, I think, because now it's just base card, unfortunately. So here's the next one. It is Giannis. These look great. I like them a lot. Nice uh, design. There we are. Okay. Our numbered cards, finally. So last year it was four numbered, technically. The base was to 149. And this year they said, no, we want more money. So, uh. Bye bye numbering. Here we go. So nice you got him twice. Tari Eason, 75. See, now I think the autograph's gonna be solid. At best. Not saying that'll always happen, but the build up beforehand, because there's only four cards, it's pretty clear whether it was good or it was bad in terms of Panini when they were making the set. All right. And our last numbered card before the autograph. Yeah, this autograph's in trouble. You could get something nice. Don't get me wrong. But a lot of times when we open sets like this and this set, when you see the rookies beforehand, especially two, the autograph struggles because of it. So we will see if that's the case or if all oh, that was for nothing. All oh, that uh, little spiel right there. All right, here we go. The final card. It feels thick like the Jake one. Or thicker, right? Because usually they're like 100 point. This is 130. So I need to turn it. I think I do. Let me go like this. Carefully. And our autograph is 3, 2, 1. Jovic, 25. Nice. Now most of this stuff is pretty short printed. So like 25 is super short printed. But the highest printed one is... Actually, I don't know off the top of my head. But they're not a crazy high number like some other sets. Patch, though. I'll absolutely take that. Overall, I like, and that does it. Time for a recap and my thoughts on the product. Once again, like, sub, enter our national giveaway. All the info's down below, and tonight we're running case breaks of this product, so 12 box cases, and should be cheaper breaks from what we usually do, so definitely uh, give it a look if interested, and here we go. So, box one or box two? Here's box one. A lot of heat. Nice. The Jake is the highlight, and box two... Hmm. It's close. Two rookies and to 25 or just to five. I'm a little biased. But I'm going Grizz, going left. And um, yeah, this is a nice haul, but I have to go with my guys. So there you go. Overall, thoughts on the product. I do like it. I feel like we've seen very good results in the past. And the kind of looking at the checklist, the makeup of it looks good. So I'll give this on a scale from one to 10, a 7.25, which is a pretty nice rating. So all non exclusive, less made. Now, that being said, there's more made than last year, but there's less made compared to other products. So, all those good hits are condensed into fewer boxes, which is what I like about these. So, there we go. Design looks good. Big fan of it and got some cool cards. So, it does it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, I'll see you later.